Ben, c'est comme ça, on se retrouve encore une fois pour euh, Vampire. J'avoue que le jeu est plutôt pas mal, même si on met du temps à avancer. Alors, il est où Milton Il est là. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Il avait déjà demandé ça. Ah oui. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Ah, on a débloqué des trucs. Admitted. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else can I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow we may be fired for food. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital oh, staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Ouais, il m'a pas donné beaucoup d'argent en lui. Hein. Bon. Elle est où, Madame Hopkins ah, Elle est là-bas. C'est juste la sœur de l'autre qui... Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Lui envoie des Good nouvelles. Evening, Dr. Reed. Pepper, 
Are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead. Or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? Right. In your position, I would suggest a more elaborate defense. Cynicism will not save you. This isn't cynicism. It's realism. You still need me, Dr. Reed. And you know it. Ouais, mais elle veut, elle veut partir. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together. And I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first. Even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Hello. It's locked, all right. Ouais, j'avais pas vu qu'il y avait encore euh, un étage. Bon. C'est où que je dois faire ça Ok, là-bas.
It's locked. Ils sont peut-être dehors. Alors... Toi c'est tout Ah non, c'est là. Ok, c'est là-bas. Un scal. Putain la vache. Ouais, on va pas aller ici en fait. Là. Elle est où l'autre enquête Sur les docks. En attendant, on va retourner dans notre bureau, nous.
Okay. Ouais, c'est beaucoup de blabla, ça aussi. On a des super réflexes. Ok, la... la télépathie, on va dire. The flower is dying. It needs water. Bah, y'a de l'eau, là. Bon, non. morceau de poignée commune. On va voir si notre ami a ça. Il est où Milton Ah, il est là. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doc. I'd like to see your wise joy. C'est où ça C'est là. Allez faire ça, nous.
Hop, on va analyser son sang. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? I'm not one to make weight, Doctor. I've patience to attend. Just him well. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Bon, on va aller faire son truc, elle. Et je ne vois rien ici. Hop.
C'est un peu glauque quand même. Comment je fais pour changer d'arme moi Ouais si c'est là. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Tiens, prends ça, toi. Voilà. It's locked, all right. Ah, il y en a. Balls of Mars, fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Tiny de pessoule. Eh? Il 
These scavengers feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Et toi et toi c'est bon je vais m'occuper de toi maintenant mon petit coco voilà Plus d'ennemis ici. It's locked, all right. Pas de trucs à prendre quelque part. Bon, visiblement non. Apparemment, il n'y a pas d'ennemis ici. Ah.
Oh putain, il était chaud lui. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Ok, c'est par là que je suis arrivé. Ouais. Et ici, il y a quelque chose. Easy. Ils sont toujours tous morts ici Bon, visiblement oui. Bon. C'est quoi ce bâtiment Dorothy Crane, elle est là-bas. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Mm. 
You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. I have to go now, sir. But... Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Deux cents de dégâts. Ok, il me faut des plaques de plomb et des poignées. Je suis que niveau 6. Il est toujours pas là, lui Oh bah il a dû partir, alors. Bon, on va aller voir le docteur, nous. Ah, il y a un inconnu, là.
Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Mm-hmm. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Mm -hmm. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Je veux plutôt une bonne tête, notre ami Shin. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for well, me? Prêtres, ça se voit, non? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor ah, and non, of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith, willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just... Well, I bet you to be converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Or, faut que j'aille parler à l'autre, du coup.
Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Epia. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Y'a rien à piquer ici. Ah. Voilà, c'est là qu'on en apprend sur eux.
je connais aucun des noms qu'ils utilisent à part euh, le Nimrod. Ok, en fait, il parle juste euh, des espèces de vampires, quoi, c'est tout. Do you need something, Jonathan? I have just a few questions. Then ask away. Since I'm the one working for you, what should I know about Pembroke Hospital? Well, for many years, we have been the only medical facility in this part of town that people can rely on. We support the community here, as well as provide health care. Where do we stand today? Well, to be honest, we cope on a day-to-day -day basis. The first wave of the Spanish flu last summer took us by surprise. We lack many of the basic necessities needed. What do you expect of me? What we need is hope. You were a soldier. This is a war. This white coat's still a uniform. We fight to help the poor. The sick of the East End. The forgotten. You mentioned something about a secret society. A brotherhood, if I recall. Could you elaborate? Certainly. I've been a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stowe for several years. We are pledged to monitor and report vampire activity in England as impartial scientific observers. Voilà, il est gentil. Ça your nightly wanderings about the docks and the questions you ask. I feel it wasn't mere coincidence that led us to that part of town. There was something as yet unseen that set those chain of events in motion. Yet you don't fear me. And still you know the monster that lurks beneath the civilized surface. The Brotherhood has studied your kind for centuries. We believe you are as supernatural as a lion is to a gazelle. <coughs> Since you seem quite the expert on vampires, what could you tell me about my condition and how it came about? As men of science, our first step is always to start with what we know. Forget the myths, the hackneyed scrawlings and the penny dreadfuls. They do not scratch the surface of the truth you now find yourself in. The sun. Bah, non. The morning following my transformation. Its rays burned me. There was pain, smoke, uh, and my skin blackened. You will find there is very little that can kill a vampire, my friend. You have been offered relative immortality. The sun will most certainly hurt you leaving you weakened and damaged but it will not destroy you on ça on le savait must i take a life to live you are a vampire you feed and blood is the sole sustenance that can sustain your immortal frame and only a living creature contains the nourishment you require The man we pursued and slew in the canning factory, William Bishop, I believe, was he a vampire? He was a skull, technically speaking. The debate rages as to their classification. Some think them a subspecies of vampire, others something else. Where do... how do skulls come into existence? C'est des goules. The name means slave. The etymology may indicate that they are a lesser species of vampire. From what I know, vampires tend to despise them. Just for clarity, what differences are there between myself and a, a skull? A skull is easier to eliminate, Jonathan, even if they remain formidable foes for the unprepared. Vampires... Now, vampires exist beyond the mortal realm. Je 
je vais aller voir lui. Parce que j'ai peut-être découvert un truc. Good evening, docteur. Have you heard of someone blackmailing people in the hospital? Pardon me, sir, but I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir. But I rose to the challenge. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chuck. It is a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Bah, il a plutôt raison. Goodbye, Mr. Chidala. It's locked. Good evening, Doc. Please show, of course. <coughs> ah, il a plein de médicaments, lui. J'aimerais bien pouvoir passer derrière en fait. Bon. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Blackmail? Thank you for your time. Oh, il est là, lui. Good evening, Doc. And good evening to you. Have you heard any talk? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question. Il m'a dit quoi, là? Have you heard any talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially old Miss Jones. Mr. Jones. Tell me, Thoreau. What's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. What a blundering idiot. But in circumstances, I'm... Alors, les patients... On m'a dit, monsieur... Good evening. Have you heard talk? No. Goodbye for now. Il m'a dit... Madame Jones. Je sais absolument pas qui c'est. Bon. 
flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Longfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first... Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer is greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. Ça doit être la mère de l'autre. Tradition doth dictate all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? 
Now aren't you the blunt one? Barry? We both are afflicted with a thirst for blood, Lady Ashbury. That is our nature. By vocation, we also have reason to visit the hospital. Logic dictates. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Pest. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Avant de reprendre ce truc là, je vais l'améliorer quoi. Ah, c'est 2000. Ok, elle est à l'intérieur. Cool, ça. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Bon, mais gentil avec elle. Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> How brave. 
Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's fame. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. Well, that's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches, greedy little eyes, just waiting for me to pop off. They are. They're pas très gentil. Hein? I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof. I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patient staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? What can you tell me about... Let me guess. Bon, elle rien dit. Elle était un petit peu énervée, hein. On va trouver les autres maintenant. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Il est où la dernière? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait tout là-bas? Hey, il est là, lui. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il raconte, là? Do you ever think about that? Poor fellow, I saw you push in the water. The Je vais finir par le croquer de toute façon. Sure, I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. 
What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Mm -hmm. well, on va lui dire c'est quelle vérité. Mm -hmm. Il est hospitalisé. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or I like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Je vais te bouffer. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail? That's not my style. Too risky. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I'm not afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the wet boot boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. Ouais, bah, je vais te bouffer, moi. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Ouais, pour le moment, ouais. Alors, c'est qui lui? Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm blight, sir. Newton blight. I've lost my mate. I can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, c I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survive the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? Bah, l'hôpital c'est plutôt tranquille, hein? Feet. We both need help. Treatment, I mean. To get some sleep. Just need to feel better, sir. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taken care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. 
If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. J'ai une autre quête là normalement. Il y a le pote de l'autre là. Attends, c'est quoi ça encore? This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Skull de niveau 6, ça va le faire. Allez, il est où le sol Et voilà
Ähm, tja. Pète de l'autre. C'est bon, vas-y, sors de là, mon ami. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I, I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Okay, cool. Bon. Moi, pour le coup, je vais m'arrêter là. Du coup, je vous dis à la prochaine. A plus.